Hello and welcome to another episode of Girl, What You Wearing? Mm, mm, mm. Today, we are talking about Vogue 8827. This is a pattern that came out in 2012, and it's one of the first patterns that I made after I discovered the online sewing community. And I actually made this dress because Heather Lou of Closet Case Patterns made it and made a blog post about it. And I thought she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I think she might even have her hair in braids like this in the blog photos. I could be mistaken. It's been years, um, but I think she might have. Anyway, she made her dress in this really stunning kind of peachy colored pastel, I think. And it's a wrap dress, which I loved. Um, but I think one of the reasons that I like this dress so much is because it is one of the first successful dresses that I made for myself. You know, in the beginning when you're getting into garment sewing and you're learning about how to make adjustments to fit you better and work for your tastes, there's a pretty steep learning curve and I have a lot of things that you know, might have looked fine on the outside, but the insides were kind of a mess and, you know, maybe the hems were falling out or something, but I have had this dress, I think I might have made it in like maybe 2015 or something. So I've had it a while and, um, and it has lasted the test of five years time. Now I will let you know, it's not perfect. Like, okay, so here's the inside of it which I searched with white thread, which is something that I probably wouldn't do right now, only because I wouldn't want it to be, you know, super noticeable, but you live, you learn, you love, you learn. Name that song and artist. Okay, so this is a Vogue wrap dress and um, it is not very easy. I just checked to see if it was. It was easy, but it's not labeled as a very easy pattern. Um, the most complicated part of this was how much fabric it used and so my cutting layout was like really massive and I had never made something with so much yard, uh, yardage at one time before. So that was tricky, but the, um, the fabric wasn't too bad. This is from the fabric store, from their LA store when they used to be here. And it is a, I think that this is a, I think it's a silk, maybe? Um, it's got like a kind of a, not a rough pan, but it's not super slippery, so it was pretty easy to sew with. So um, this dress, I'm so glad I pulled it out to talk about it, because I just realized that it has a shorter length, and I think that this would be a dress I would like to have in my wardrobe again, uh, in a shorter length. Uh, it has two options for you. You can do like a plain regular wrap or you've got this ruffle thing here. And I loved the ruffle detail. I'm usually not a super big ruffles person, but I think that the way this drapes in this particular fabric is, is really simple and it doesn't feel like it's too, like too twee. Um, but at the same time, it feels a little bit dramatic. As you can see, we've got these short little sleeves right here. And then a simple wrap belt, and it's got a ribbon on the inside so you can tie it and keep it there. And then of course, um, I ha I put a snap in this just to make sure that it stayed in place because I didn't want it to splay open. I'm not sure if that is what the instructions tell you to do, but it's what I did. And then you have like a long fabric belt. It's a pretty simple design. One thing that you do, can you see my leg slip? One thing you do have to be careful of is wearing this dress on a windy day which I have done before. <laughs> and uh, I'm wearing Hanes Herd Way underwear right now, so it's nothing all that exciting to see. But I do like to be comfortable, even when I'm wearing nice clothes. Um, another reason I love this dress is because um, I used to not be very good at shopping for apparel fabric, so I would just go to like the regular Joann's and look at cute quilts and cottons and be like, that'll make a beautiful nice dress. Not that it won't, but uh, I don't think that quilting cotton is quite right for every single occasion. And I don't think that it would um, be right for this particular dress in the way that I wanted to wear it, which was to, you know, red carpet events or nice, nice outings. Um, I'm trying to think of where I wore this dress. I've worn it several times. The last time I remember wearing it is when my friend Lance um, invited me to go to the NAACP Awards. And so I wore this there and I got a couple of compliments and I was really excited because I was just um, not really used to wearing 
my own clothes for like, you know, bigger red carpet events. So it was very exciting. And Morris Day and The Time performed that evening and I had no idea they were gonna be the musical guests and I was losing my mind because me and my dad uh, would listen to them a lot when I was younger. Now, I, I don't think that this dress is on my blog. I think I made this dress before I started my blog, which would be like around 2014, 2015, something like that. Maybe it's on there. I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, um, I don't remember any, I don't know, issues that I might have had with construction. So I can't tell you anything to watch out for with this dress, unfortunately. But again, it was pretty straightforward because... I was in the beginning of my sewing for myself, my whole wardrobe career at that point. And other than all the yardage that I had to deal with, it wasn't too tricky for me. And again, it has been a part of my wardrobe for quite a while. Um, it's really floaty. This was a really good fabric to make this in. It feels like it kind of skims your body. And I made mine the maxi length, but I prefer to have enough um, length at the bottom of my dresses for my heels to not get caught in and ask me how I learned that trick. So again, this is Vogue 8827. Um, although I've only made this once, I might consider this a TNT only because it's such a forgiving, um, pattern to make for somebody who's starting out and you know the 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 nicer your fabrics the trickier they might be to work with if you're working with things like silk or charmeuse or something like that but because it's a wrap dress there aren't any darts there aren't any um uh lines in the garment that are supposed to make it fit on you it's supposed to be a kind of a, a flowy dress but you know it doesn't look like a sack dress it, it doesn't feel particularly frumpy it feels like this fabric gets to speak. Did I say that, that I love this? Um, oh, I didn't, I started talking about it. I was saying that this was one of the first times I picked out apparel fabric that actually worked really well for the garment that I was making. And I like this fabric so much because it's such a large print. And I think that small prints work really well on certain projects, but for this one, because it's such a bold pattern paired with such a kind of uh, simple design. When you look at the at the style lines for this pattern, it's it's nothing too crazy, you know. It's um, kind of just some panels that are that are stuck together. There's no waistline, so it's all in one piece. And that actually might be a smart way if you wanted to like do something really exciting, like color block this dress or something. You could probably add a waistline seam so that you could have a different top and bottom, or you know, back top, bottom, front, whatever. I'm really excited about color blocking these days. I have some I have some ideas in my head. What else can I say about this beautiful dress? Mm, the sizing is very forgiving. So if you choose the wrong one or if you want to loan this to somebody else who might not be in your size, probably won't know the difference, which is pretty cool. And this is just a classic super simple design that I think a lot of beginning sewists would probably have a lot of fun with. But for people who have been sewing for a long time, this is gonna be a really quick sew for you to get through and uh, add something beautiful and interesting. You know, I don't see, I see lots of wrap dresses and I love them all. I am a huge sucker for a wrap dress, but when they have a, a special detail on it, I think it's pretty cool. And you could actually do something interesting by like, pinning it up here with the roach or something and then doing a big reveal. Well, you usually reveal when you have something to reveal. I don't have that much to reveal. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me today for Girl, What You Wearing? I did another episode. I said I wouldn't, but or I said I wasn't sure, but I did it. <laughs>